Okay, good morning folks. Uh, today we're going to look at a number of tools uh, which are used to help us manipulate photos. Um, we know this whole assignment is about removing people and adding people to photos and several of the tools in Photoshop are designed just for this purpose. Um, we yesterday, if you remember right, we grabbed uh, this guy here and then we put them over here. Um, now to get them there we had to do a lot of things. Uh, one is renaming stuff. Um, I'm going to isolate them and I can do that easily now because I called them new guy. Um, I'll show you how that works. Let's turn off all of this and show this is just Casey Stengel ah. and the new guy. Um, and you can see that when I hit those eyeballs I can turn on and off these layers. So when I want to rename these like um, this one here is my main background, I think. Uh, so I'm going to rename it. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to call that main background. I do not use spaces. Spaces create trouble later down the line. You can if you want, but people almost always regret it. Ah. Okay. Um, I color corrected him. Uh, the reason I color corrected him is if you'll notice he's much fuzzier than um, the other people around him. Uh, his eyes are kind of sharper and what have you. But I can fake sharpness um, pretty easily. I'll go to that layer, new guy, just that layer. I'll go to image adjustments and since this is black and white I can play just with brightness contrast. When I increase my contrast it will look sharper. In fact, maybe I can get away with that even. Yeah, I might get away with that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, well, you know what, but then I might bring his brightness down a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to hit OK to that. Um, and I want to lose that pipe uh, because we know the other guy has a pipe ah, up there, but this could be his twin brother who didn't bring a pipe that day, and Casey Stengel here blocks most of them. So if we can paint out that pipe, um, we're going to use the tool that is used for getting rid of blemishes, uh, pimples and what have you on people's faces, the healing brush. Watch when I park on this. Here, we'll, we'll park on it again. Yeah. Repairs imperfections using pixels from another part of the image. Very useful. Uh, changed um, school photography forever. Because if you're a school photographer, you have you know, you're going to a middle school, let's say, and they have like 10 different classes, and each class is 30 to 50 kids. So you line them up, shooting boom, 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 like that. Now you have to put them all together, um, and again, they're all going to go through Photoshop. Um, if you look at this, if you look at your high school or your middle school yearbooks, you may remember people who had facial blemishes, and they will not have them in the yearbook picture. And they won't have them because of this tool. Uh, you notice it even looks like a band-aid? That's not coincidental. Uh, what this tool allows me to do is it allows me to take pixels from somewhere else in the image and put them here. So let's say he had a big pimple here. I could say, uh, hold down my Alt key, which is how I do it. I want you to take stuff from here, and now you're going to put it here. Oh, am I in the right layer? I should be in the right layer. Are you in the right layer? Oh yeah, no, we're in the right layer. Yes. So now I can, and actually down here I want to take it from a different place. Down here I'll take it from his chin. Okay. Now Casey's covering up the rest of that pipe. So, uh, you know what we'll do? I'm going to take some from here, and I'm going to put it right up there. Good. Good. Maybe too much, maybe too much. Uh, no, I can get away with that. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I might also decide I want to change his expression a little bit. Uh, everybody's very happy. They're seeing the first pitch being thrown out, I think. Um, but I can probably make him look different than this guy 
by um, by seeing if we can put the edges of his lips down a little bit. Uh, that is where the smudge tool might be very useful. So let's go in here and let's see what happens if we just pull down a bit. Uh, he's starting to look unhappier. Looks sort of like he's baring his teeth. But the real trick is, can we make him not look like that guy over there? I wonder, maybe I can pull his mouth open more. That's a possibility. Because he's more excited than his twin brother. He's so close to the president, this guy. Uh, let's turn on our other layers. Um, and let's show you what they are. We know we've got Casey Stengel there. And again, Casey's covering a good hunk of him, so we don't even have to worry about what he's covered with, which is good. Um, hair repair. Uh, when I turn on my main background here, uh, and I turn on the suit that's back there, um, I have an issue here with a sharp edge, which I can eliminate by just painting some stuff in there. If you look at what's on this layer, that's all that's on there. It's just some smudges of sort of clearish stuff, so that when we light all this up, we don't really need that one, we'll put it in there. Oh, you know what? I have one on I don't want on. What do I have one that I don't want on? Oh, this one. Um, this layer here is the original fill we had. I'll show you. So that was the Content Aware fill. I used part of that for the hair repair. See? I took it from there. I just cut and pasted a bit of it out there. And the only reason I have this layer, but I'm going to even put this layer back down here. Well, let me put it up below that. No, it won't, because the background is a special layer. Um, I don't need this layer at all. Uh, I mean, except as maybe later I might need it. So I just have it around. Um, but it shouldn't be on. We'll turn these back on, and you'll see my image fill out. Yes. Um, I could probably get away with that. Um, I know he's blurrier, but um, there's even a way around that. Uh, this is what I would do. I'm not recommending you do this, but it would work. It would work. There's a whole thing, a bunch of things called filters, which we will discuss at a much greater length at another time. Brightness, levels, curves, exposures. Will you give me a blur filter? You know what I might do to do this? Uh, I might just do myself a safety thing. Ah, forget I did that. Um, I'm going to take my main background here, which is most everything there, if we turn this off. It's everything except him um, and his suit. And I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, duplicate layer. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to blur it. I'm going to show you what I mean. I go under Filter, and I go under Blur. I have a lot of blurs. I want to go with the Gaussian Blur. We'll talk why in a bit. And we'll go over to where he is. And I'm going to blur the rest of the image. Oh, I need to do Casey Stengel, too. But I know how much I have to do them by. 2.5 pixels. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to head up here to KC and I'm going to duplicate him. Duplicate, 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 duplicate layer. Uh, and I'm going to hit him with a 2.5 pixel Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur. Uh, 2.5. Okay, I made the whole rest of the image worse, but that works if I can get away with it, right? Uh, I made the guy's mouth a little bigger, got rid of his pipe. So conceivably, his twin brother could have been there at that time and got much better seats than him. 
probably better in politics, something along that line. Um, I should probably rename these. Uh, I'm going to rename this um, Casey Blur. And we're going to rename this one Background Blur. Double click it. And then we can turn off the original Casey. We have the other main background shut. Something I should do now that I haven't done in a while is I should save because I've put a lot of work into this at this point. File, save as, uh, Nixon PSD. I'm not gonna, um, I'll overwrite it actually. Uh, you shouldn't overwrite too often, but in this case, we have enough layers to make it worthwhile. Um, so we looked at a bunch of things there. Uh, we looked at adding a filter to a layer. We looked at a little bit of color correction on a layer. That's the brightness contrast. We looked at the healing brush uh, to fix things up. And we looked at layer naming. These are all things that will help you complete this assignment.